Hi guys, got a new project here. We're going to make uh, three four inch cube angle plates. And so uh, just gonna start cutting them with a uh, carbide end mill, getting one edge straight. And uh, the angle plates are made out of just uh, some construction steel. It's a uh, three quarter inch piece of four by four angle iron, which is not super common, so I was happy to find it for a good price. We just deburn our edge when we flip it here, so it won't foul the vise. And uh, there's my new face mill. It's pretty nice, perfect for this project. A lot of repetitive cuts on this part. Uh, I'd take a little bit more there because we didn't. I didn't make it through the uh, rust bits. Couldn't flatten it out in the first pass. Face mill's doing a nice job. I think we're cutting around uh, 660 RPM, uh, 10 or 20 depth of cut, and six inches a minute. You can see the nice blue chips it made and the surface finish it left. 1700 RPM, 5000 depth of cut. Uh, I discovered that if I crank up the speed to about 1700, you know, about three times as fast, it leaves a lot nicer finish. So I'm, now that I've got it flat, I'm just going back to improve the surface finish. And once I get this one side done, I'll uh, flip it around in the vise and uh, do the other side in exactly the same way, same, same process. So you can see it brought out a real nice finish on the part. Now I'm using one of my favorite end mills. It's a uh, half inch roughing end mill. And uh, I'm just cutting this other edge straight. I have to take a little bit more off because I couldn't quite make it four inches. So it's gonna end up being a three and seven eighths cube. And it does a real nice job cutting off metal. And then I just come back with the uh, carbide end mill again at a lot higher speed doing a climb cut to again uh, bring out a good surface finish. And there's what it leaves. Now I'm just uh, chamfering it with a, this is actually a brazed carbide countersink. Uh, 82 degree countersink, but it does an excellent job of chamfering. It's not totally ideal. I wish it was 45 degree, but uh, it works. It looks good enough. Can't really tell. There's what it looks like. And there's what it leaves. So now we just need to uh, cut it apart. And for that, I'll just, I like to use a uh, old kitchen knife. It does a great job. You know, just slice it down the middle. And we're done.